right, guys, you I think you're gonna like today's video. Got my truck here, got a bunch of trailers. Oh yeah, you might wanna stick around. I'm gonna show you some good stuff today. A wise man once told me, don't you know how to make money and work hard? You'll never be poor. Well, this is how I make my money. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing an e-way scrap event hosted by my buddy from Cornerstone Starting Point. So we got, this is my old trailer, if you guys recognize this. I sold it to him. We were gonna partner up, but we decided that, you know, maybe we'll just do the events together and we'll see what happens. Sorry, I'm right against the road, but all this trailer is flat screen TVs, printers, monitors, stuff like that. And then there's, there's Bill right there. And then we also loaded up Kevin's truck. This truck is all full of printers, modems, radios, and monitors and flat screen TVs. This whole truck is loaded. We've been out here for about three hours already. We have a little lull going today in this area. So we're trying to like hurry up and get things popping. So people are coming and bringing the stuff and they're donating money for a charity. So we're donating the money that we collect for charity and we get to keep all the metal. So it's a good thing for the, for the environment. It's a good thing for the community and everything. And this is my 24 foot trailer with a bunch of tin. It's about half loaded already. We're about halfway through at this event. There's all kinds of stuff on here. I wanna show you a couple small refrigerators, wine coolers, this heavy thing. Microwaves galore. So we got all this stuff so far. This trailer is the backup just in case we needed it. This is uh, his dump trailer. We didn't put anything in that yet. And look at this trailer. This is all CRT TVs. These are all just gonna get shipped out whole for, for the wholesale buyer. So th this trailer is heavy. This Like some of these TVs guys are just massively heavy. All right, so now we got my truck, we got Kevin over here sorting things. Say hi, Kevin. What's up? So my truck with, with some air conditioners. So these are air conditioners that, um, that people dropped off and stuff. And then he's categorizing things as like different miscellaneous things that still have to be gone through. All the wires. In the back of um, Bill's truck here, we got more air conditioners, dehumidifiers, VCRs, DVD players. Computer modems, towers, a whole tote of wire. You got some Christmas lights. You got uh, laptops, cell phones, batteries. Um, and you got lead acid batteries. Those are um, different batteries. A whole thing of laptops. Those are all the ends that got cut off. Power supplies, remote controls, guys. So yeah, we're, there's my daughter over there. Say hi, Dream Smasher. And that's his wife. I forget your name. What's it? Oh, it's Nancy. That's right. I know her name. But yeah, guys, we're out here. We're out here hustling it today. How many customers did we have? 61. 61 customers, guys. So we had 61 people show up and bring us the stuff. This is the future of scrapping right here. We drive around and we go around and pick stuff up for people. Why not have them come to us, guys? We got permission to use the lot. Everything's for charity. Why not, guys? They donate money and it's all for charity for a good cause so it helps the environment helps the community and everything and it's a win-win look at all the stuff we got 61 customers and we're only halfway through we might get another probably what 20 customers you think we got at least 20 customers bill more oh, with ease. easy so we'll probably fill his truck and have my truck full like look at all the air conditioners and dehumidifiers it's disgusting this one works i might put this one in my shop I just, I gotta get the little plastic pieces off another one. The guy said it worked. I'm gonna put that in my workshop so I don't have to sweat balls working today. But yeah, and somebody, I took this mount off a TV and then some lady brought in a brand new mount still in the box so I could mount the TV in the shop, guys, so I can have my videos playing in the background while I'm stripping things. But yeah, guys, this is a pretty awesome event, man. Let them bring it to you. Why, why go out and spend, well, gas prices are almost $4 a gallon here in Northeast PA. And, and within two weeks, they'll be $4 a gallon. You know, we drive around, pick the stuff up, 
and we waste more time and money and effort you know if you do one of these events guys it's just pure cash and look we're all wearing the same clothes look I, i'm wearing sneakers though. don't look at that we got our yellow shirts Ooh, except for this one. Oh come on and that's how much money we made so far for charity tell me that's not good but all right guys we'll see what else we can get today i'll show you guys at the end of the event how much stuff we actually end up with but yeah guys it's all money man they're bringing it to us and we have connections we'll get rid of we're sh shipping all the electronic scrap out wholesale we don't have to break nothing down we just got to palletize it up when we get a tractor trailer full we send it out i know you guys are gonna have tons of questions on this but there's another company in the area in my area i'm not gonna mention their name but um we don't like them we're trying to push them out that's what bill's trying to do me and bill have been going back and forth and he's he's been doing all the leg work and he's been one doing all the hard stuff and trying to figure out how we can go about selling all this stuff and getting the right permits and stuff like that which is you there, there's a, a laundry list a mile long of stuff you have to do and this is one of the things that he's been working on and i just been doing my scrap but you know he does a bunch of small events this is probably the bigger the bigger event and this is the second year this is the second annual time we've been down here and um we have Tanglewood, which is a community that uh, I do dumpster day on. And I told them we're going to be doing the East Scrap. Last year, we ended up filling that dump trailer right there with just TVs and stuff. TVs and uh, computers and everything and stuff like that. So, oh, we got another customer pulling. Yeah, another customer, guys. Hold on, let me take care of this customer. Guys, so what happened was we had three customers, or four customers real quick. That lady pulled in. There was another guy who had a barbecue grill and some other stuff, a lawnmower. Um, I ended up getting another big, heavy air conditioner. And the lady had an, another air conditioner and they're just this miscellaneous stuff they had laptops everything you having fun Kev? Of course. he's always having fun but yeah guys so that's what happens it comes in spurts people come two three at a time and um, the guy gave me a, four, a Chevy tailgate and a um, that lawnmower a chair another barbecue grill and he paid the 20 bucks so I got, and the lady had two microwaves, and that chair that guy had, and that, that DeWalt thing, I don't know what that is. But, uh, yeah, and there was the Chevy tailgate. He said it's all bent up, doesn't close. I might pop the Chevy emblem off. Put it on my garage. But, yeah, guys, this is, this is the way to do it. And when I do dumpster days, guys, I will film the next time I do a dumpster day for the community. So it's a small, when I say community, it's like a HOA community. And they have, they'll bring in three 40 yard dumpsters for trash. And I bring this big trailer and we load this up with metal. And then we bring one of these uh, dump trailers for uh, TVs, electronic scrap, radios, um, basically laptops, com cell phones, computer towers, modems. Anything like that will go in one of these tra uh, trailers and it gets sorted, separated, and then it'll get palletized up or boxed up to get shipped out. And that's basically it, guys. I and mean, there is a little more involved in it and stuff, but you know, you see all the air conditioners, man. And copper prices are through the roof. So all that copper wire, all those copper and air conditioners, and, and you know, like these, these just get sold whole as, as they go. So it's not a big deal. But yeah, guys, we'll wait for another customer. What time is it? I didn't tell you guys what time is. Oh, look, another customer coming in. It's 2.30. So how many? How long do we got? An hour more? No. 1.30. 1.30, an hour and a half more. Yeah, guys, that customer, all he had was a flat screen TV. This one, I put it on a trailer. I can't film it. I'll carry it. 20 bucks. 20 bucks cash. And... That's one flat screen TV. And if they have multiples, we charge $40 for a for a, uh, a car load. And we got another customer coming in. All right, guys, another hour went by and we just hit 80 customers. As you see, this truck's almost full. We're just trying to fit the last little bit of stuff in. Got more laptops, more computers, more everything. Smasher. All right, let's see what we're at. We're at $1,800 and we're at 80 customers. So guys, 
80 customers is a not a bad turnout and both trucks are almost full hit the one red truck over here that red truck i told you that's already been maxed out and the trailer this trailer with flat screens only has a couple more on it and mine so a guy stopped in and dropped off another oop, scoot, oh hey <laughs> look out a guy came and dropped off another barbecue grill a smoker just all kinds of more random stuff guys so this trailer is almost full i mean i got room in the front for stuff hi. but those are all microwaves and everything guys say hi 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 <laughs> and then uh crts we didn't get any more of them just a couple some vacuum cleaners and stuff guys yeah. but um since that pickup truck is full now any of the e-scrap or air conditioners and stuff is all going to start going on this one which is good we brought it because that one's going to be full with flat screens we got more people coming back guys this is a no-brainer man sorry my fingers in the way no brainer guys this is freaking awesome people bringing it to us we're making money I, I can't I can't specify enough and say it. but uh all right guys I'm gonna give you a total of what we're done and we'll talk some more all right guys so it's 3 3 15 we haven't had a customer except one that you drop a table off guys we're done we've been here since 10 o'clock it's 3 15 I'll show you what we uh, ended up getting up filling my old little trailer here it's not completely full needed a couple more TVs and stuff but that's a 12 foot by six foot trailer with five foot sides on it. Then we got this six and a half foot bed pickup truck with the cap on it full of um, flat screen TVs. So you could say we got about 12 yards of flat screen TVs. And then the stuff that was in the back of my truck was all the air conditioners. We ended up getting a bunch of them. I think there's like 25 air conditioners and dehumidifiers in there. Bill's just throwing my dolly in. This truck, we didn't get we didn't get a couple last little bit of things here, guys. But you know, there that's it's almost five and a half, six yards there. And all the stuff that was here, we ended up bringing over to this trailer to fill this one. And then this dump trailer was six and a half foot by 12 foot dump trailer. And this was one with all the CRT TVs and everything. And we put the laptops and all that stuff. So basically almost filled that trailer too, guys. And our backup trailer, which we didn't need. But then my big trailer. So I'm filled almost all the way to the end. So it's not completely stuffed and it's not completely full. But yeah, guys, what a good event. We had 86 customers. And we made around two thousand dollars so we had 86 customers and two thousand dollars guys come on all in one afternoon but yeah guys we're just going to strap up and finish up guys but remember to like comment and subscribe i know you guys are going to have a ton of questions i will try to answer anything the best i can i showed you the banner of the name cornerstone there's um the uh the, the facebook page you guys can go there if you have any questions or um you know, maybe we could set you guys up to where you guys could start doing these events, too, if you guys want to do these events in your hometown and everything. There's nothing saying you can't copy what we did. We copied what somebody else did. So, you know, it's a free enterprise. There's nothing saying you can't do it. Guys, but we, look at this. Look at this. 30 yards of garbage. Our th our, we figured it, this is about 30 yards with the other trailers and with this, with this trailer, that truck, my truck, and that, we ended up picking up about 60 yards of metal and electronic scrap guys all in one freaking day we had 86 customers last year we had 70 so it's 16 more customers than last year so every year it's getting more and more and more and there's other little events that started getting more and more too but all right guys leave your questions and remember it's not a job it's an adventure man and this is this is how we're going to start doing scrapping from now on guys but i'll see you in the next video